During the early phase of the Battle of the Atlantic of the Second World War, surface raiders were a menace to merchant navy ships bringing precious foodstuffs, war material, and goods from North America to the United Kingdom. Convoy HX-84 was on its United Kingdom-bound run from Halifax when it encountered German pocket battleship Admiral Scheer over 700 nautical miles southwest of Iceland on November 5, 1940. A smokescreen was laid, and the convoy was ordered to scatter. HMS Jervis Bay, an armed merchant cruiser converted from a former passenger liner, set a direct bearing toward Admiral Scheer. Outgunned by the German ship, Jervis Bay was on the receiving end of relentless shell fire, and within a half hour, orders were given to abandon ship. Only 65 sailors of the crew of 190 survived the ordeal. After destroying the Jervis Bay, Admiral Scheer sank six more ships, but no doubt these heroic actions saved many other merchantmen of the convoy. Aboard Jervis Bay was Stoker Alexander Milton Jimmy Johnson from Owen Sound, who had volunteered for service with the Royal Canadian Naval Reserve in August of 1940. Johnson was a stoker working in the hold of the ship. He was listed as killed in action for November 5th. Jimmy Johnson worked as a stationary engineer before the war, and was married with four children, ranging in ages from 3 to 15. A Victoria Cross was awarded to Captain Edward Stephen Fogarty Fegan of the Jervis Bay for this gallantry, and it has been suggested that every crew member shared in this honor. Jervis Bay Park was established in February of 1941 to Johnson and the crew of the Jervis Bay. Stoker Jimmy Johnson was Owen Sound's first casualty of active combat in the Second World War.